We've talked a lot about Electron's main and renderer processes. So you might be wondering, what exactly is a process? What does that mean? And what does that mean in the context of Electron? Well, let's look at it visually. So my app here, I'm creating two browser windows. I'm calling this create window function, which creates a browser window, loads the index.html in it, and pushes it to this windows array. So let's run it, our start script on the app. And then let's look at the activity monitor and see how many processes are running right now. So we can see that there's four processes running. So this is our main process here. We can tell because it's just called Electron and it has our application icon on it. And then there's three Electron helper processes. One of them is a GPU helper process. That's not one we interact with directly in Electron. That's more of a, an internal thing to Chromium. And then our other two processes are render processes. We can tell which one is a render process. Can we see the process ID here? So it looks like it looks like those two are our render processes. These processes all run concurrently to each other and each have their own state. If we require the same module and multiple processes, and multiple versions of that same module are running at the same time. To demonstrate this, in each of the renderer processes, I'm running the same JavaScript that imports a counter module in it. So, so each one is running renderer.js. This counter uses an event emitter internally, and when it's incremented, it updates this count element with the current count. So you can see here, if I increment the count here, it is not, it is not incremented here, it's different. So let's see what happens if we kill one of these processes. So we're gonna kill this window. Interestingly, the window remains, but it's just a blank screen. So what's going on here? This is because browser windows are created in the main process and an instance of a window does not necessarily equal a renderer process. The web page running in the window is the renderer process, not the window itself. This, I think, helps illustrate that one of the main responsibilities of the main process is to create and manage native UI elements. This includes the windows, the uh, menus, dialogues, etc. So what then are the responsibilities of the renderer process? The renderer process is simple. It's just your, your web page. Another important thing to know about the main and the renderer process in Electron is that different APIs are available in different processes. For example, back here in our renderer process, if we log out Electron and view and view all the APIs available, so this is the dev tools for one of our windows there, and we've logged out Electron, so we can see these are all the APIs available to us. So you'll notice that there's no app, there's no browser window. So we're, so we're definitely looking at a different set of APIs here. Now if we go in our main process and let's do the same thing, let's log out everything that's on the Electron module. There are some APIs that, that are run in both the main and the renderer process, such as Clipboard. Uh, but we can see here's our app, here's our browser window. So that's an important thing to remember when you're designing the overall architecture of your app and deciding where responsibilities lie. Another important thing to note is that Node.js APIs are available everywhere. And of course, DOM APIs, browser APIs are only available in the renderer process.